Just call me angel of the morning, angel. Just touch my cheek before you leave me, baby. Just call me angel of the morning, angel. Woo! Just touch my cheek before you leave me, baby. Welcome back to SOS VHS. We have uh, the movie Deadpool today, starring Ryan Reynolds, uh, WME's very own TJ Miller. Um, who else is in this movie? Uh, Ed Skrine, uh, uh, Morena Baccarin. She was in uh, Fi uh, Firefly. You guys ever watch Firefly? No. Nope. Nah. Or Serenity. Is, you know, uh, Firefly was created by Joss Whedon. Okay. It, uh, it's a uh, sci-fi. Yeah. And uh, Nathan Fillion. You guys remember that show? It was, it was a I remember while the back. show. Wasn't Eliza Dushku in it? I don't, I don't know. I have a phone number. I don't <laughs> I do. You just wanted to say that you she got hot. She was like my childhood crush. Holy and I met shit. her like in 08. And Stalker alert. She dated Rick Fox and I was like, yeah, that's not fucking happening for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, you never know though. No, oh, I mean, if you're an NBA champ, it's just not happening. God damn it. Uh, I got this shirt at the Sacramento uh, Kings game. What does that say? Deuce and Mo, it's my friend's podcast. They they do commentary there for NBC. Oh, cool. Yeah, Very nice. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I crashed there the night before Bad Friends in Sacramento. It's a fun night. Very oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sound like you're just having a ball. Yeah, you're yeah, just man. all over. That was life on the mainland. Now we're doing that island life. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We're talking about Deadpool, uh, directed, directed by Tim Miller, which was his feature debut. Um, of which is crazy, right? This this movie what is he a nepo baby? I, no, he did a lot of um like CGI like work um before before this. So he didn't have so he had those technical skills, right? Uh -huh. But this was his first feature. Um and there's this you guys know about this whole process of trying to get this film made. It's crazy. Like they were so rated R. It but it all started it started like back in 2004. They're trying to do like new line cinema and like getting oh, uh, wow. I'm glad it, it wasn't made no four. Wow. It, and they, 2004? 2004. Damn. But then eventually it was like a rights issue. 20th Century Fox got the right rights and it was like a whole X-Men thing. Anyways, um Ryan Reynolds, uh writers uh uh Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick uh were involved and and Tim Miller they're trying to get this movie made, but it was rated R. Uh -huh. They wanted to do it their style. Yeah. And 20th Century Fox is like, yeah, but didn't you just star, Ryan Reynolds, didn't you just star in a flop uh, called Green Lantern? Oh, yeah. And yeah. you also want to make this rated R? Uh, like, that's unheard of, I like right? The Seth Rogen one. Oh, wait. Is that. Oh, that's um, Green Hornet, right? Green Hornet. Green Hornet. I like that. Um, no one liked it. I, I, I thought it was okay. Yeah, it was fun. I saw it in the theaters. Um, yeah. So they were trying to make this film, and twins, they're like, no. like uh, We don't make rated R films. Uh, yeah. this, they, it's known that rated R films don't make as much money as PG-13. Of course. And guess what happened? It made a lot of money. <laughs> it made a lot of money. You know, and it got greenlit because of a leak. Oh, oh really? Sure. Of, that, of, the, of the fight scene. So Tim Miller, they did some test footage. Tim Miller just used some CGI kind of oh, looking sick. characters in that car in the beginning, right? Yeah. And did that, and that that they showed it to 20th Century Fox executives. They're like, eh. Ugh. I uh, right? I bet I know those motherfuckers, it, those dorks. Oh, the suits, man. Those They're fucking so suits. so lame. The people that canceled Freaks and Geeks at Fox, fuck them. I know. They, it, the same re reason how uh, um, Stranger Things can get de denied like seven times, right? Yeah. And it's just huge. Fun You'll never be talent, huh? you nerds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate executives. Uh, will hinder everything. Yeah. The people that can't get into the comedy store, that like bug Doc. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't like people like that. Get out of our universe. Um, so yeah, try so, to accommodate them, but it's rough. You assume yeah, it's, exactly. It's fucking... Yeah. So this 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 footage leaked, right? And uh, the fans were like, "This is fucking awesome!" Everybody loved it. Everyone, it was went viral. Everybody was like, just just loving it, right? This came out. I think that the test footage was leaked like July, I believe July of 2014. By September of of uh, 2014, it got a release date. Oh, make wow. this movie. Yeah. And it. It's it still holds the record for biggest three day opening weekend of any rated R film ever. I think it was like like even when I saw it, I was like, oh whoa, this is crazy because you're so used to like the Marvel movies and Captain America being a dork and all that, and like yeah. the like dirtiest thing said is like 
you know, Iron Man making some like sexual innuendo. Uh, right, drunk, right. You know, right, right, right. And then Deadpool's like, you know, I'm going to lick your asshole. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like, when I was watching it, I was like, I kind of love this guy. He's like bisexual and weird and he's like a possessed <laughs> stripper. I'm like, am I this guy? Oh, the, 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 when they have sex, what? can we keep this up for a whole year? And they're uh, like, yeah. and when she's like, happy in International Women's Day and yeah, he's yeah. getting pegged. That hurt my feelings. Like, I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. A, no, when he yeah. had that vein in his neck, I was yeah. like, oh, like, no, God. no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I liked this movie. I like, I think I don't like Deadpool 2 or I think like the humor is just so like it's like amplified and it's almost like too much. It's like it, too much of a sweet thing. And on this yeah. one, it's like, oh, the first time I'm having this dessert and it's really good. Like because the movie flows really well. The jokes are really funny. There's only like two jokes I didn't think were funny out of the whole fucking thing. Like yeah, this- only two that were like hacky, but like. That's it. Like, yeah. and Ryan Reynolds' shtick can get old really quick. And in this movie, it just didn't seem to. And I came prepared to be annoyed. And I was not annoyed. I watched the whole thing and I didn't turn it off. I I just thought it was amazing. Well, while we were saying your favorite. If you came back and said you were annoyed, I would have called you a goddamn nerd. That fucking. It's so fun. I know. Movie I think I was. It was so fucking phenomenal. Yeah. I think yeah. it's like insecurities that make people not like Ryan Reynolds. He's like so him. handsome. He's so funny. And I think if you get too much of him, you're like turned off by it. It's really? Like, yeah. It's like too much of a good thing. You know what that's called? What? Hater. Oh, no, I'm not yeah. a hater. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. We got one, Faithful. Dude, fucking well, hater. You know what? Right I'm on Team Ryan Reynolds because this movie's fucking yeah. awesome and it made me want to see the Wolverine one coming out. It's coming out in a month. Yeah. That's. Yeah. One character that I've always had a hard time with. What about Logan? What, what Logan, Wolverine? Yeah, Wolverine. I don't know what it is I about like Logan. Plan. Hugh Plan, Hugh Jackman plan them. I just always have been like, I've watched them all. I've watched Logan, but it's just something about him. I don't know what it is. But it, I like that Hugh Jackman's divorced now. Like it just happened. Wait, when did when did it happen? Like only like uh, maybe four or five months ago. I don't know why I reached over like that, but uh, your mic was uh, was falling down. Oh, what what? Yeah. But what? When did he? When? Who was he married to? I have no he idea. I don't know anything someone, about celebrities. He was married to someone for like I think over like twenty years or something, and they recently got divorced. And I was oh, like, oh, that's shit. awesome. Oh shit! Yeah. Doesn't Hugh Jackman like? Doesn't he have a like a play where he shows his dick on stage or something, or he comes out nude? No, he's got something like that, right? I don't know. I went to see and him. Who's on, got that in the I saw him on Broadway over here, buddy. <laughs> what the fuck? No, 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 I saw. I think, I, just dude, I saw. I, I just, I, I heard about it. I didn't okay, see well, it. Yeah, it. I didn't like sign up. Like, oh, I want to see the dick. He has a lustrous career. Oh, I was lustrous lo- cock. That's what you all. I if, did. I, if Hugh Jackman was naked on Broadway, I would go because I, I saw Hugh Jackman on what Broadway. What the fuck? Why? I, I would because he's yeah. like Hugh Jackman. It's just yeah. cool. So yeah. just, but why would that you want to you want to be into it, the essence of his acting you want to see his cock I yeah. want to see everything you want to see Hugh Jackman's yes. cock you don't want to see Mickey Rourke's cock respectful to the exactly. man's career yeah and I'm I'm appalled you know uh, Daniel Radcliffe shows, showed his dick on stage too that's I why I was a, I thought it was play, maybe that oh yeah as well is yeah. that legal to do in a play yeah, yeah. I think it uh, yeah so, I yeah, don't think I no, would want to be in a play and somebody's dingling because you know in a movie but you know what that's that's the movie even though that's real for them but for us, it's like, hey, well, but 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 to be just dangling right in front, hey, man. Yeah, in your front row. Yeah, it's weird. There's also one big weird. con: no alcohol would be allowed to be served in the venue of the. Oh yeah, venue. yeah, because yeah. Because yeah. what are those stripper rules? Yeah. yeah, well, that's all stage rules. Oh really? If yeah, anybody you, that's fully nude, you can't serve <laughs> yeah, alcohol. You, it's a lewd act. Yeah, a lewd act. Because we had that issue all the time on tour. Because Bobby shows his ass, yeah. and they sell alcohol, so we would always get in trouble. Oh, so no al- al- alcohol a, and assholes. Yeah, together. it's a live, it's a live mm. like stage law. Mm-hmm. Okay, United. it's yeah. state by states' rights. Civil yeah, you're war. Talking about butt fungus <laughs> and shit like that. All butt time. fungus. You know, anything. You can't can butt fuck, fuck on stage. That's insane. <laughs> oh, you said butt. Fu- I thought you said butt fungus. I said butt fungus, but oh. it just went to a whole nother. <laughs> well, a butt, butt fungus is in, in my mind right now. Can we talk about Deadpool? Let's, let's talk about Deadpool. Um, but yeah, I love I love this. Do you all like Deadpool? Just real quick, can I ask? The mermaids. Do. Okay. Our 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 Gen Z. It's a great what, franchise, right? what about uh, Gen Z skeleton over here? I haven't seen it yet. What? <laughs> Sorry, I reacted that way. It's okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. who didn't? Who hasn't seen it? The skeleton. The Gen, Gen, Gen Z, Z skeleton. Oh, Gen Z. Gen Z. Got got to get on that. You got to get on that ASAP. Gen Z. Or we'll, we'll finish you off once and for all. 
Speak into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll get on. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's all right. It, 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 Gen Z skeletons knew. They just got to this world, you know, maybe like 20 years ago. Right, right. You know, it's yeah. okay. They have some time. Um, so I love, I love how this movie starts because right off the bat, you know the tone of this movie. Exactly. Yeah. Right? They're, they're basically calling out all the superhero tropes like hey it's gonna star a hot chick it's gonna say yeah. it's gonna star it's gonna be a cgi character right, right. it's gonna um it, it's it, like the it, anti-marvel at the time it's it, it's basically saying we're gonna use all these tropes that you're so used to seeing right and it sets that that tone right away of like okay we're getting a, a parody of a movie but they're still using those devices with, within the movie Which, and you can just yeah. enjoy it let your guard down i know i'm going to see a, a conventional story it's it's not like it's a terrible story but it's conventional mm -hmm. but you can enjoy it and enjoy the silliness of it and just go cool uh, i'm in the for the action. ride well that well, that's what kind of it, it helps the uh i guess the what is it when you the disgust that you see in all the gore and the fucking mm -hmm. so the jokes kind of make you laugh you know oh, he's cracking yeah, jokes and then he shoot him in the, the head violence and then he extreme. fuck and crack another joke and he slice a man in half you're like Jesus Christ yeah <laughs> you know so it's like a, it balances you know, it out it balances it out yeah other than that without the jokes you'd be like fuck I'm gonna go to church tomorrow <laughs> yeah <laughs> like you feel evil you know what I'm saying yeah like damn yeah I like the violence in this oh I love it too it's beautiful yeah it, especially it's well when, it, when it starts well choreographed that's he, it. he's got 12 bullets right he forgets yeah. all his <laughs> I like when three, he forgets one goes through three people it's uh -huh. awesome. oh yeah or he shoots a guy twice that shot him in the asshole oh, yeah, he's like worth it stupid <laughs> worth it <laughs> 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 he should. Yeah. I mean, these did he are, improvise most of those jokes? No, there was way. a lot. There was a lot of really? there was a lot of improv on it. Are you serious? So okay, so people say that about the Office, but that's not even true. The Office is not improvised at all. Well, it, that, it, really? Yeah, it's a million. Percent. But Ryan Reynolds said they have takes that are improvised. Ruined it for me. <laughs> but Ryan Reynolds said it's one of his favorite roles because he got to improvise a lot. Oh, it, um, and the writers. So, um, and I love how it says the writers are real heroes because. Um, the writers were the ones that really worked. Here's a great fact uh, from the movie is that Ryan Reynolds wanted the writers on set, but the studio's like, no, we're not going to pay for him. And Ryan Reynolds paid for them out of his own pocket so that they could be on set. Oh, wow. So that they were this creative yeah, it's team. usually a no-no. They're this creative team. And, and you can see that there's a lot of like... The jokes hit because there's this creative force of Ryan Reynolds, the writers together. So they're you know, making with, like a TV show, like a sitcom where yeah, the writers yeah. come after the takes come and they, re and re yeah, they yeah. rewrite it. And Ryan would would be like, hey, like that's Deadpool. That's not Deadpool with the writers. Yeah. So if there's anything he could always catch, like he's a big Deadpool fan. And so that's why it's like, oh, that's cool. he is Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Yeah. And Deadpool is Ryan Reynolds. It's like. At this point, they're just inseparable. Like, if you don't have Ryan Reynolds, you don't have Deadpool. It's so crazy because these guys, certain guys just solidify their roles. You know, you got Robert Downey Jr. I don't know who you're going to have for Iron Man. Oh, I he just, is Iron I Man. Just, it hurts for me to even think of Robert. You got to live forever, Robert, until that <laughs> franchise is over. It's, yeah. But it's, it's, it's great to see, like, these guys just totally uh, – like and just immerse themselves in a role and become this character, this make believe character. Mm -hmm. But it's almost real when you watch it. And it's like, God damn it! I feel like I can be Deadpool. You know, I can yeah. be that motherfucker. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 just you can have a paper. have a beer with them or something. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, he's cool. Kick with Iron Man's yeah. cool. The snarky mm -hmm. Iron, like he's fun. Like I like those type of characters that have that, you know, that fun snarky. I would love those two to somehow meet. Could they meet in their universes? Prob I don't know. I don't know either. It's possible. I don't like the X Men characters that are in this movie. I'm like the like girl and like the silver guy. I'm like, who cares? Like, yeah. Well, but then, but then he's calling them out too. It's like, oh, I you're know. either gonna have long, long, awkward silences or some some sort of snarky remark, uh, remark or something. What what is it gonna be? And she's like, you got me in a box here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was just like. He called, he <laughs> It's, but it's true. Like he's long. Was it long? Sullen silence. He's, he's, he said. Yeah, um, I like those characters, but I love the girlfriend. The girl, she's so hot. She really is. My gosh, ever since Firefly. I hope I your remember, wife sees this. No, but but I watched Firefly before my wife. Okay. And I thought she was Doesn't hot. Count. 
<laughs> it doesn't count. I'm, not, yeah. I'm never going to meet Morena Bacharin. And I, I don't do hall passes anyway. But I can say she's hot. Mm-hmm. Do you feel uncomfortable watching a movie with a hot chick and your wife there? <laughs> And you kind of feeling like, not saying your wife and her, don't do that. I'm saying, but like this, if you've, I just dug myself in the Just, just hole. keep going, Doc. <laughs> just, no, that's all right. Yeah. No, but here's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, to be with a, with your girlfriend or your wife, yeah. and then another woman walks in that's attractive too, or on film. You ignore him. You just, yeah. Always. Like, for life. You, my wife does something you know, that's- what, what bitch just walked in? Look, my Hello? wife, hey. my wife yeah. does something that's so smart. She points it out before I even see. She she'll go. Oh look, That's look at her over there. Shit, it's man. so slick. because it's because she's she holds slick. the yeah. she holds the power that way. Yeah. I'd be like, I control the situation. Yeah. I pointed it out. I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's a ghost. There's and then <laughs> if, if she says, "Oh, she's hot," and then you go, "Hey, oh yeah," she's going, "What the fuck is so you got to no, no, she's not like you that. You got to balance your emotions. Yeah, she's all right. Yeah, all right. The girls are always <laughs> yeah, said traps. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you know. It's yeah. all about trap. You play cool. Yeah. You have to. You have to play cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, uh, um, you know, we're watching a movie, like, be like, that. you know, Ryan Reynolds is hot. Uh, Marina Baccarin is hot. Like, you, it's just, people are just objective. Those two are hot. When, yeah. they're, when they're fucking, you're like, those are two hot people that should fuck. Mm-hmm. They really should. They should. And I'm glad they are because yeah. that they're meant to be. So um, we start with Wade being not Deadpool, right? So he's he's say he's basically this mercenary that does these little, you know, small jobs. It feels like for the little high yeah. schooler, right? And he just is like, "Hey, I'm not I'm not a hero," but he does have a sense of some sort of moral moral code. something, right? Because he won't fuck up the stepdad. And I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I, was oh, yeah. I thought of Bobby because the girl was Asian. I was like, oh, strict dad or something. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I was uh, like, it's good everyone's included. Yeah. Um, but he, you ha- he has a sense of some sort of morale, even though he doesn't give a shit or whatever. They have a Deadpool. Like, he sends that guy a blowjob, which oh, is, yeah. yeah. was it Kahlua, Bailey, Kahlua Bailey's yeah. and, and whipped cream? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like, and say it's from guy. this guy and they start fight, like oh damn it i i could have won uh the, the deadpool did you ever talk to him about people about the deadpool at um the comedy store the deadpool well you guys had a, there's a it was deadpool? just like but no it was more like you would just <sighs> guess on who would die <sighs> who the fuck was doing that ari <laughs> <laughs> it had to be ari yeah. god damn it oh uh, no who would yeah so there's just this pool that was yeah, going around. Was people, I think it was more like people were like first. lightly guessing on who would die okay. that year. Did you do it? Did you participate? I feel like I didn't. So I was so young. I felt like I didn't like belong enough. Oh yet. yeah, you wasn't in a click. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, it was, I was, too it young was Ari it. and probably Rina Zizi. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I know that whole group. God damn, so funny. <laughs> Dude, they um, you know, in the movie they actually had a Deadpool for uh, Amy Winehouse. It was in the script. Of oh, when she wild. would die, yeah. but they had to change it. Of course. Because she died before, yeah. you know, uh, the movie was released. They're that's, like, oh, wow. Yeah, time to change this. Yeah. Um, yeah. But imagine if that stayed in and then she died afterwards. Oh. Like, no, that's just fuck. like part of comedy. It's like a, a broken clock is right twice a day. It's like comedy can get shit right. It's like yeah. the Simpsons. Simpsons, or exactly. Right. Yeah. I love that. You the, call stuff out, you can yeah. like predict things. All yeah, I was those. watching it on. On YouTube, like this whole t- top ten countdown of uh, all the prediction of the Simpsons, and mm-hmm. I didn't know that about it. I never paid no attention. Yeah, I just be so busy, busy laughing. I don't really pay attention to those <laughs> details, and then they come to pass, and I'm like, holy shit! Yeah. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Man, I got a family of three. I, you know, I just had my, my daughter. Yeah. And man, um, trying to cook for three kids and have something that's healthy and delicious and yeah. something that the kids will eat as well. God, oh, they won't bother you about it. Yeah. I don't have time, man. Yeah. I really, I really, really don't like all I do is work, you know, take care of kids, sleep. Like that's it. That, mm-hmm. That's all I have time for. And I want to make sure my kids are eating well and eating something that's, you know, um, you know, 
delicious and and nutritional. On average, HelloFresh meals have a 31% lower carbon footprint than meals of the same portion size made from supermarket ingredients. And HelloFresh's pre-measured ingredients and 100% offset of their delivery emissions mean you're able to get dinner on the table while being kinder to the planet. And when you sign up today, you'll unlock free appetizers for life, get the party started, or enjoy a little pre-dinner treat with an appetizer of your choice in every Hello HelloFresh box for free. That's super cool. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SOS apps for free appetizers for life. That's a hell of a deal. One appetizer item per box while subscription is active. That's free appetizers for life at HelloFresh.com slash SOS apps. Uh, Carlos, we just got Mando and I've been wearing it and it smells so good. I yeah. know. I needed new deodorant and I'm glad we had some around here. Oh, it's great. And, and I started wearing it. And my wife is like, oh, it smells... My wife commented on it and she's like, oh, it smells really good. Mando whole body deodorant will keep you stink free all summer, even in the hottest months. So here are the most important things to know about Mando. You put it on your whole body. So it's meant for your whole body. I love that. And it's yeah. getting really hot here. I think it's going to be like in the high 90s. Like next week, we're going to heat wave like crazy. You know I like I mean? putting it on my butt just to see what how it feels. And it feels great. <laughs> well, they have the package wipes. Yeah, they have the, 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 you can put it on your on your package. It says, and they have the, have wipes too that you can you can. I use love too. wipes. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. I love the free shipping. Luckily, I have a discount code to help you get hooked on my favorite whole body deodorant on the market. New customers get five dollars off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack. Use code SOS at shopmando.com. S H O P M A N D O.com. That's shopmando.com. So I, I love, I, we definitely know that Ryan Reynolds had, at least I knew, he has the comedy acting chops, right? Because mm -hmm. he did Van Wilder. You guys seen Van Wilder? Yeah. Right? Based that was like, Burke. that was the first movie I saw of him. Based on Burt Kreischer. What? What? Yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> Google it right now. What? Van Wilder, uh, Burt Kreischer. Uh, Gen Z Skeleton, uh, help help us out here. Yeah. What? Van Wilder is based on a Rolling Stone article about Burt at Florida State. It can't. It can't be. Oh, wait a minute. I think it I did. It says it's based off his real life experience. Yeah, yeah. I think I heard about that. Yeah, he is. So. Burt Bert, uh, Bert Kreischer's uh, real life experience is yeah. Gen Z? Yes. What the fuck? Yeah. I was blowing my mind. Get an information box over here, Playboy. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, uh, Yeah, isn't that mind blowing? Yeah. It when is. I found out, I was like, holy shit. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy to wow. think about. Wow. Bert's dumbass making movies. So crazy. <laughs> God. <laughs> just take your shirt off. People just hand you money. Uh, but Van Wilder doesn't really does he really take a shirt off in the movie? No, I don't think he does that in the movie. It's ironic that Bert takes his shirt off all the time and Ryan Reynolds playing him doesn't. Does it and he has the one of the it, most incredible bodies I've yeah. ever seen from anyone. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's he's not even human. He just looks like AI. Have you have you seen Blade Trinity? Him and Blade Trinity. No. It doesn't even make sense. It looks like he's wearing prosthetic Blade abs. Blade Trinity is so mm. funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that was the director. So uh, him Tim and, Miller. That, and that director, not not uh, Tim Miller, but the director of the Blade series. That's, what, that's who Ryan paired up with to originally do Deadpool back in I 2004 because they had worked together. So this was like a long time, like switching of different directors like, and all that. Wesley Snipes is accounting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really busy right I'm now. Really busy. Yeah. Crunching. We're trying to do Blade uh, 4 here. Everything is negative. <laughs> and we got, we got no, no movie without Wesley. <laughs> yeah. <it'd be> horrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's incredible this movie is made after like two flops that he did with Green Lantern, RIPD, right? And here... But I don't think it's crazy. Here's why. Because Ryan Reynolds is always castable because like two flops in a career that before had hits, I don't think they kill your career. Especially like, just think about it. Like when they're casting these things, Ryan Reynolds walks in the room. Yeah. Like he's tall, he's charismatic, he's handsome, he's actually funny, not like he's not like John Krasinski where you tell him something and he like recites it like an idiot and it's like kind of funny. Yeah. It's like this guy's actually funny. Yeah, he, uh, he is. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like uh, I'm I'll, sure people at the comedy store would talk shit about Ryan Reynolds, but the guy's actually fucking funny and charismatic. Right. So it doesn't surprise me in the slightest that this guy can get movies made 
BCAS and stuff after bombing. I mean, the guy bought a soccer team. <laughs> like, But this was after he became, like, oh, Deadpool I know. sent him to the stratosphere. Either. But he was so fucking famous the day before Deadpool came out. He oh, really he still, was. Oh, he still was. Like, I remember yeah. that time. He was ultra famous. He's, I mean, he looks the same Dude, now as he Just prepared. Friends, so fucking funny. I love Just Friends with uh, um, uh, Anna Faris uh, uh, waiting. Never seen waiting so good. Uh, even even a uh, free guy was after Deadpool, but I like, loved Free Guy. Yeah, I watched it like on, I liked it too. on my iPad. I like it's an easy watch. Um, but Ryan Reynolds, like he just does it, man. He, there's something charismatic about his acting, his wit. Um, I've been watching The OC so much. <laughs> I'm like just I, finished season one. I saw that in your stories, and I'm like, what? Why the is OC? Carlos watching The OC? It's just so addictive. Just like ha mermaids. Have y'all seen it? It's just like an addictive, like soap opera. Like a few episodes. Uh, yeah. Oh, all right. right. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. You're kind of like a Marissa type. No, no. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> not in a bad way. Not in a hitting on her way. I'm just Which saying you're like Marissa. She? I don't know who that is. Wait, is she the is she She's Misha, Misha Barton? Barton? Misha Barton. Yeah, because you're like a California blonde. That's why. It's a, I don't think <laughs> it's a compliment. Yeah, it's not that okay, weird. Okay. I'm right. not in the show. Okay, all right. I'm not in those. So no, expect, we we expect weird shit from. Yeah, yeah. Like, we just we just automatically think. It's, but in the OC world, us three aren't in there. No, I know. Yeah, they should have like a episode where like me and Doc go to Newport Beach. Oh yeah, like, hang out or like Doc is the the what's it the Ryan character <laughs> right? But instead of from Chino Hills, he's from Detroit. Oh, oh all of a sudden you know <laughs> the name of the character. Hey, where hey, okay, hey, I've seen the show. I've seen the show. Wow, I'm I'm show. wow you whatever. Brother over here, you you you're enthralled by the show, huh? I, I like know where it. the character's from in the show. Chino. All right, all right. That's insane, dude. I, come yeah. Guys, why would what? you lie to us like that? I know. Had this guy all believing he was by himself. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, Carlos. God, I felt like such a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm sorry. Season Carlos. two, and yeah, things are getting heated right now. On, on the <laughs> it's such a, it's just oh, point. you know, Olivia Wilde's in it. Um. Yeah, mm. I, the Killers were on the last episode I watched. The Killers. They the didn't band? have. They didn't have a line though, so I don't think they were SAG. <laughs> oh, and then Bobby was recently on uh, what's her name's podcast. Um. Rach uh, Rachel, yeah, Wilson, w yeah, yes, yeah, so they were all famous at like on like the same like eight month window in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's funny. Wait, what, what are you singing? Wait, what are you? California? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm never gonna let somebody ruin my bloom. Is that the Killers? Yeah, oh. if somebody told oh, me man, you had a boyfriend, it looked like a girlfriend. See, yeah, that I yeah, feel that shit. Yeah, like yeah, that's my fucking shit. I got potential. Hell oh, yeah. Spotify, and I like that you can choose any artist that ever lived and change their race. So if I want to listen to oh. Elvis, I click on Doc, <laughs> and it's Black Elvis. Yeah? Yeah. Well, Elvis was doing black music, so it kind of- Oh, it would sound the same then? <laughs> yeah. All right, we have to change the fucking- Yeah, he was still in our culture, motherfucker. No. Yeah. Did you like the last Elvis movie with Austin Butler? I didn't watch it. Oh, it's so good. I want mm -hmm. him to be my butler. Oh, my gosh. I, you know what? I do, too. He's hot yeah. as fuck. God damn. He is. I was kind of confused. Dude, no, no Diddy. Episode no Diddy. He's that? hot. No Diddy? No Diddy is hot. He just is hot. No you know diddy. what? I got to say no this. Diddy. I would. Hang, <laughs> You're I, like, yes, Diddy. That's a lot. Diddy. <laughs> I'd hang out with Diddy still. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. I would. Why? why? I'm gonna you would party with Diddy. I'm going to take advantage of him. If you grew up with him, I can see that. Like oh yeah! Like, if I grew up, you met him on a fly, maybe at Marshalls or some shit like that, and y'all start hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, oh, well, we like, like, yeah! Like yeah. And he was like, "Come juice. to a party," and you was like, "Yeah!" yeah. And then the next thing you know, a little sword fighting action, and then I, you know, I'd be worried for Diddy actually. <laughs> If you guys, yeah, play. like by the end of the yeah, party, yeah. He's like no Carlos. He's like, I can't, I can't party with that guy yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if I can freak out Diddy. <laughs> That'd be so fun. Fucking insane. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get let's get back to the movie here. He probably guys. couldn't because he, you know, money can buy bring oh, some exactly. real exotic like giraffes and shit. You, oh, I think that's where that shit, shit can pop off. You know, I don't know why I said giraffes, but. Giraffes? Yeah. Because you were thinking of a long phallic thing. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's where I'm at with it. Okay. Yeah. Are you fucking okay. the necks or something? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about how you would have sex with a giraffe. No, we're not. Mermaids. No, we're not. You just have to go for the neck, I think. Jesus. 
I don't know because that's the thing of the giraffe is the neck is the oh yeah is the, its feature that toys are us. Why are we talking oh, about? Oh, I know oh. what I would do. That why are we toys are us? I, yeah. no? I would put toys <laughs> are us. I would put no. leaves in my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I would put leaves in my butthole and then bend over. Oh. And then the the, the tongue comes out and just like Yeah, oh, so you're okay. No, 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 no. I have a better idea. I would <laughs> I would get up on a tree and I would put leaves in my butthole and then I would like lean out yeah. so the giraffe has to eat out of my butt and then then I would like stick him really up high so he'd have to get in deep and like lick yeah, so he's like, like that last part was so gross. I'm over here, just <laughs> oh. the tongue comes out like this and tongues your butthole. Yeah. Oh, fellas, can yeah. be this. <laughs> no, I, I know. I'm about to lose my lunch over that, here. What's going Jurassic on? Jurassic Park with the brontosaurus. At yeah, the end, and like when things are going bad, and he's like, "Oh, we meet the brontosaurus." Well, imagine like instead of the little kid there, it's your asshole, and instead of a brontosaurus, is a giraffe. <laughs> I can imagine. I, uh, I, I, I'm trying, but it's yeah. difficult. It's, 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 yeah. it's real blurry. <laughs> yeah, Jurassic. Oh, uh, oh I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jurassic. Yeah, oh. uh, all up in that giraffe. <laughs> 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 the porno with Carlos. That's so uh, funny. Fuck man. Close, man. Um, Jurassic Park porn would be so funny. I, it would be. Really? Yeah. But how would a T-Rex, like, you know, Hit it from the back with those arms, man. Like, how would it? Oh, how would it grab on? So fucking, hit it from the back. That's so that. vulgar, people. But I, I'm just saying, like, I, I well, you, you. I'm just going off. We I'm yes anding. I'm yes anding. I you're, understand, you're but porn. we have to have sexual respect. Oh, don't come after me. <laughs> you said, what if there was a Jurassic porn, and I just went with it. I know, but I'm just saying that come the T Rex doesn't have to hit it from the back because the T Rex is clearly. Um, a bottom. Oh, it's a bottom. Okay, yeah. okay. But yeah, if there's yeah. two T Rexes, fucking though, right? Yeah, but this is kind of a wild park. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So he. Just it's get like not cool to the T Rex. Raptor to just fly down and just yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. fucking all right. So anybody can fuck. I, exactly. I read you. I read you. Exactly. Where I think the T Rex goes into the <laughs> water exhibit and he gets one of those crazy like Jurassic era like whales to like. Like give him a blowjob. Mm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I think happens. Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what. It's so <laughs> stupid. But you I know what? Fucking clue, Carlos. I love all of it. <laughs> um, what are your guys? Some of your guys' favorite jokes in the movie? Because there's so many. I wrote a lot of them down. Um, but I love, I love the joke where Morena back when like they're talking about like, uh, oh, I'm gonna like. Ha- have sex with you all night or all 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 year whatever she's like uh riding a bitch's back like uh yoda on luke oh yeah was so so funny to me because she's basically calling luke a bitch that's such an right. alt too you could tell that in those jokes there's like on the script there's probably like or at least like the cuts there's like 10 alternative jokes yeah because like that to me is not like the first joke they would have written oh that yeah scene. so that tells me that there's probably so many different jokes like on the cutting room floor that are really like it's really cool to me when I see a comedy use the alt joke. You get like, a sense of that in this movie, for but, sure. Exactly, but I think the gold is in the alts. Like, yeah. Like uh, on stuff I've worked on, you would have to write those. You put it like in a different color on Final Draft. Yeah. But like every joke, it would like take up the whole page because there'd be like twelve options below. Yeah. I think Deadpool looks like it's like hundred and eighty pages, especially with the writers on set, right? Exactly. You know That's that they're cool they're giving hey hey give me a, give me an alt line like the one where he's like. Um, it's uh it's a shit show. Cancer is a shit show. Like like your uh, uh what was it? Uh y- Yakov Smirnov opening for the spin doctors oh, yeah, at the yeah. Iowa State Fair shit show. Exactly. That, <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. But that bleeds like that like just screams like fun writers room to me. It which does. tracks with your with them being on set. Like the Marvel movies, that is not new to have writers on set. When writers are on set, it's a bad thing usually. They did that for Captain America. They did that for the second Avengers movie. It means they haven't finished the movie when they started hmm. shooting it because they're trying to aim for a release date. But if Deadpool, like that, like Deadpool script must have been so good when the studio was like, no, you don't need the writers because it's literally done. And like Ryan Reynolds paying for that is just gangster as Because hell. he knew the value of it, <laughs> of these guys. But like I'm telling, like you can just tell why this movie's so good and why it made so much money. It's because they like gave a shit and like 
like you put your money where your mouth is like this is what you get like a franchise kind of deal <laughs> right. hell. Yeah, uh, it was a dope I, 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 my, the funny part for me was, was the old black blind lady <laughs> uh, yeah. when he was I like love I so love much. you and then he's like <laughs> He said, by the way, there's 160 kilos in the cure for blindness. If you can find it, <laughs> if you can find it I'm like, God, <laughs> like, yeah. it's fucking evil, bro. It's and like, then, like it's, but you could tell yeah. like, the TJ Miller even goes, their little spat in between, like you could see that they really loved each other all yeah. through the, just the, it's just so fucking funny. Oh, when she, when he has the little hand. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I bet it feels huge in this hand. And he goes, Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, he has to leave. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's like, get out of here! Yeah. Quick. Oh, I got Jay Miller is so funny in this movie. He really is. Where he's he, when he's like sees his face, he's like, oh, there's only one thing left to do: star in horror movies. Because <laughs> he looks like you, wait, he said you look like Freddy Krueger fucked a top of. Uh, uh, a, a map of Utah. A topical a, map, a, a of, Utah. map of Utah. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So so, funny. so good. <laughs> They're all obviously. Right. And and man, these I, I love the joke of when he's talking about um, where hit where the girlfriend's like, oh, you didn't sleep. It's like, oh yeah, I, was, I kidnapped Liam Neeson's daughter, and he just wasn't having it. You know, they made three movies, and at some point, you just got to think. He's just a bad parent. And those are the first, <laughs> those are like the first time those jokes are being said too. So it's really funny when you hear it in fucking theaters. You're like, oh, yeah. this is like a Twitter joke and, right, and, right. in a movie. And Ryan movie. Reynolds has such a great delivery. And that's part of it, too. It's like you need to have somebody. We know that in stand-up, right? Like there's there's great joke writers. There's people that have great delivery. And there's both, right? Yeah. It's like you need both. You need a great joke and a, and a great delivery. And a great delivery can sell that joke so much more, right? And I the think timing. The salesman, too. It, you have to. That's why some comedians have ghostwriters, no? Of course. Right? right? Where where it's like, hey, you can perform it, I can. I'm the I'm the writer. I know the I know the comedy. It's just that I'm not that That's one thing I'll never do. Go have, have a, a have a ghostwriter, yeah. Yeah, because you don't know what you ain't Drake. <laughs> yeah, I ain't Drake. Oh, yeah. I can't be your ghostwriter. No, I don't know what your shit is. I'd be like from. a spooky helper. A spooky helper? <laughs> Instead of ghostwriter, I'm a spooky helper. <laughs> that was corny. Let me tell you something. <laughs> so you just got, yeah, you're out of a job just from that alone. <laughs> spooky helper is silly. Get the fuck no, out of island. We Doc's do. on stage. I don't have a ghostwriter, but I have a spooky helper. That's like, Where's the laughs? That's like, <laughs> that's like Brody's <laughs> joke. I'm so intelligent. I wash my hair with smart water. It's like so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Brody's, um, one of Brody's favorite jokes of mine is when he said, uh, my my uh, the sister war- used to beat me with keys. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, and she was a janitor. <laughs> yeah. God, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> fucking so goddamn funny. When I fucking heard that, I was in the comedy store on the floor like, God. Keys, that's goddamn genius. And it's like the funniest joke ever. Yeah, because you know, when you hear beating with keys, you're like, keys, what the fuck? And then when he said, I'm yeah. like, are you fucking that yeah. so goddamn funny? I used to like um, the one where he's like, um, I just got back from, uh, I'm like a Gulf War veteran. Like, yeah. he's like, we lost a lot of good guys out there. <laughs> I fought for Iraq. It was like, I forget the actual joke. Yeah, but the, I forget but that was I, one of the first times I heard that twist where like, oh, I'm a veteran. I fought for the other side. I thought that was really yeah. Funny. <laughs> He's you, fucking great. You guys think, uh, uh, do you guys think Ryan Reynolds could do stand up? No. I think he could if he, yeah, because if he honed in on it, because he has impeccable time. He can definitely. But he would it. have to write his, oh, uh, I guess like. You're asking the question of who writes his stuff, though. I don't like it's oh, hard to yeah. write your own stuff. It's very yeah. difficult. So it depends on what it's, his mind is like, because nobody really, we really don't know. Exactly. We he don't know what actor. he could, but that comes with time and development. Yeah. So he could, I think he could definitely do it based on his his natural ability just to deliver him. I'm more thinking literally, could he do it? Could he actually like go to the comedy store, do it, the improv, do it? And in my head, I'm like, I don't think he survives it. Not being famous, Ryan. Ryan That's what I'm It'll saying. I'm like, he's more too good looking. looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If it couldn't be Ryan, it couldn't be like, Ryan Reynolds. He would be the best looking comedian to ever live. Yeah, like way more than Matt Ryan. Hey, you think but, Ryan? Do you really think that guy is that good looking? He's not that good looking. Oh, he's he's like I Matt he Rife, like on like. He's like all, the most likable version of Matt Rife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, ready to fuck Ryan? That's what this I is. mean. What the sure. fuck is going on here? Right? He's not that. He's not that. Wait, what's what was going on here? Bro? Wait, what, what? Bro, bro, bro. Wait, what, whoa, whoa, what? easy. It was just getting bunched up, dude. Wait, 
we're talking about Ryan Reynolds. You take your pants off. I mean, I, I, I had the same because it's hot in this. Yeah, you know, it's just getting bunched up, dude. Don't you fucking start rubbing. What is going? One just, out. No, God damn it! Put your pants back not on. Not the time. You gotta put your boys. We don't do that. No, man. Oh, it's not that time was, yet. Put your boys away. At sundown, tuck we can your take... boys. Keep them in a neighborhood. Don't let them fucking. All yeah. right, we're hey. talking about Ryan Reynolds, and I got excited. Hey, uh, but he, 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 he I, I, th- I think he's, he's, I think he's hot. I, I think he's uh, hot Ryan good. Reynolds or Brad yeah, Pitt. Yes. I guess I'm a uh, Ryan Reynolds is uh, young Brad Pitt, young Ryan Reynolds, yeah, or you know whatever, yeah, in their prime. We're talking Brad Pitt all day, the hair, yeah, the flowing hair, Legends of the Fall, Fight Club, yeah, Brad Pitt's just the goat. Uh, uh, meet Joe Black, yeah, yeah, he is Good. the goat. And I gotta give it to Brad Pitt, divorce guy. Hmm. Ryan Reynolds, nice. He's like too nice. With he's like too like. Oh, I'm like the funny husband, uh, and I'm like no, I'm not. What, in, it's like what do you think of that? Of him and him and Blake Lively, they. I don't think it's sort of, funny in the fucking slightest. I think it's so cheesy. I think the jokes are easy, and that's why I don't think he could be a stand-up comedian. Because when he does jokes like on Instagram and shit, I'm like, you're doing like the easiest version. of Oh, him. he sound like he's a he's a stick. Exactly. I'm like, you're not like the people we know. Mm. You have no like razor edge of like hell that guy do. Yeah, <laughs> like, I do. You have no like vitriol in your heart. <laughs> I, I do like his promos and his marketing ability. Yeah, especially with like any any product like like Mint Mobile. I have Mint Mobile by the way because um, Ryan Reynolds. I, because it's it's cheaper and okay. why pay a shit i'm like it sounds like i'm doing an ad they're not yeah, we're not you so know funny. sponsor us um but <laughs> but it's it's just cheaper it's like great. cricket uh it's not like cricket no i don't know what <laughs> but it's 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 the same thing as at like, it's just cheaper it's 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 without yeah. the big conglomerate like you know oh, okay. um that's cool company like um but the promos for deadpool <laughs> he got betty white to do a promo he was doing he's talking about like from the from the studio that sewed uh you know my my fucking mouth shut or something like yeah, yeah, yeah. from x-men uh um wolverine uh, uh, origins or whatever he's he's commenting he's making this sort of viral kind of like commentary and getting people involved and he's really good at that He's really yeah, good at like whatever his products. Man. Doesn't he have an alcohol too or something? And didn't know. he have Nick Cannon on and I don't know talking about a vasectomy or something? Like, I don't so know. <laughs> but he he has that By that way, ability. It was Father's Day the other day. Uh, hope Nick Cannon's doing okay. He's really yeah. busy. Yeah, he's very busy. Yeah. yeah, house to house. <laughs> yeah, he's in recovery. He's yeah. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> has an IV right now. <laughs> <laughs> Resting after Father's Day. <laughs> uh, speaking of Father's Day, I went to. Uh, I took the kids to see Inside Out too. I it was good. You. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Yes, I, I got I, the it. credit. And oh, it I and forgot. it was uh, Inside Out two was good. I, it, 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 got, it, was, it was really good. And made one hundred fifty million dollars. Oh biggest my! Biggest opening but, of the year. And I I really of course I'm fucking crying in the theater again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just thought. Did you just break down? I was just, I don't know, man. It's just kids growing up, losing the innocence. Did There's you, something that Joy is said of like. like a jerking off got character? Like, the, <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, well, that, see, okay, so it's about Riley. It's about a, a, a female, right? Uh-huh. I bet if. <laughs> It was like a 16 year old boy. And the, yeah, what is the, yeah, the thing in like his head? A boy inside out. Did like a rated R version? Yeah, just like a jerking off character walk in and be like, I just moved here. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cancel all plans. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, yeah, he's like hectic. They have to like tie him up and he starts to like it. You're like, stop. <laughs> this is how fetishes are made. Yeah. The, the rated R. Let's have Ryan Reynolds make make that one. The, they the made the rated, rated R, R like inside out. Movie, sausage Party. I didn't think it was good. Sausage Party? With sausage Seth Rogan's movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No. yeah. Sausage Party is is yeah. good. Yeah. I like. Just it. make Knocked Up too, dude. Yeah, I. You know, it's I've like let's get Knocked Up. It's great. I always remember from Sausage Party, like let let's get high, like fuck a guy high, <laughs> like what? <laughs> so so, 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 so funny. Weird. I just start coughing. <laughs> so weird. Should we drink uh, wine that's not alcoholic for me? Yes. Uh, let's whine about it. And it is grape juice for Carlos. Hey, sorry, been a lot of work this morning. Maybe a low key drink somewhere later this week. Thank you, brother. A drink? Who's this? Oh God, what a disaster! <laughs> oh, just reading texts from girls. <laughs> oh man, from from another island? Is there a girl island? No, it's just this figure I made in the sand that I pretend texts me. <laughs> oh well, that's cute. Yeah. I well, I hope it works out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, let's it whine about it. <laughs> um, so what do you guys have to whine about this movie or just oh, kind I, of the movie making process in general? We know it took a long time to make um, or just anything in the movie that kind of bothered you that you didn't really, I don't know, was uh, was lacking in your opinion. I want to whine about my own attitude going into the movie. Hmm. I don't think it was good. And I like that this movie immediate, not even immediately, but like brought me back down to the earth and showed me that I'm not Mr. Know-it-all and I really enjoyed it. So mm. I want to whine about myself. I have nothing to complain about this movie. That's interesting you say that, Beckett. It surprised you. It's like that this movie has rewatch value and a lot of movies don't or that's disp disposable, right? Most, people, yeah. most movies don't. And I yeah. was, I've seen this movie. I was entrapped by this movie last yeah. night. I was just like so into it. And like, you know me, Pete, like it's hard for me to get into movies. Like I fast forward a lot. I watch on double speed. Like I just have 80. <laughs> I have I, on a movie podcast. You I have, I watch so much stuff. I want, like I have a lot to do in like my daily life. That's not like a lot of work or anything. I just like taking in a lot of stuff. And like this movie, I enjoyed it like a good meal. So that, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because it is it is highly it has a uh, huge entertainment value in just how it pokes fun at the tropes of movies yeah. and the witty dialogue, because you're not just going, here's a serious Marvel film or X-Men film. It's yeah. like, no, no, you're in for a ride. You're just a nice it, break. It is a nice break because like even like Iron Man, which has a lot of funny parts, like it's pretty sad. Like, uh, mm. like he's always like, he's like single, like he's always like kind of screwing up his relationship with Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, I need to try her pizza at goop. What is, what is her goop pizza? It's called the pet, like the pepper pots pizza or something, but I like the goop salad. And what's, what's special about this pizza? I that don't you, know. It's probably I, like $40 for no, it. No, it's like 30, but I want it still just because it's from her. Okay. Yeah, I like yeah the goop stuff. Pepper pots. Pizza. I got the pussy uh, candle? candle. Yeah. And does it smell like pussy? No, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Then why why market? I just got it to be funny. This is bad marketing. Why it's just make it smell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you're gonna make it, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Doc, what do you have to whine about this movie, if anything? My whine is actually a compliment in a sense. Uh huh. Because hey, you know I ain't like. To see so much fucking killing, goddamn gore, right? And then be pulling on your heartstrings at the same fucking time. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. You feel so bipolar in this shit. It's like you're laughing, you fucking seeing it. Ah, it's disgusting. And then you're like, oh, cancer. This is fucking. Me. And then when she takes him back, oh, uh -huh. I'm sitting there like, oh, this, oh, this what you're doing? Def oh, I gotta hold my head back. So the tears don't roll down. What that a great was, part when she. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was kind of like a great message to the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That like escorts. Too thick and thin. Work the shit. Wait, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Always about the escort. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you know, and you can find love in the weirdest places. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the love story's strong. Yeah, it's, it's very strong. It's it's a it's it's like, oh, okay. He's a fucking killer. They seem She's like a friends. stripper. Huh? They just seem like to have a good relationship. Yeah, that that friends. was that was cool seeing that that dynamic in the beginning. How they at first you you could see the spark from the from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But then it's like weird and awkward, you not knowing what's going on. And then what was fucking fantastic. Instead of just going straight to fucking, he took her fucking skeet balling. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. That's game. Yeah. That's fucking game. Hell yeah. That was a move to say, mm -hmm. nah, this one, I'm, I want this one to be with me. I like that. And he says that, like, I want to get to know your personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And I know, look, look, look at the little girl smiling. I'm what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. They're like, oh, yeah. The so mermaids sweet. are enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's <laughs> that, that, for me, though, that was the thing. Like, I really felt that. And then the end, I really felt when she took him back and was like, took him as who he was. Right. I was like, damn, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. They got to make a movie like that with a dude, like his his woman come back looking like a fucking lizard and he's just like, I, yeah, I, I, I keep fucking, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You never had that. You always have the woman just taking back some hideous. I, walk, I turn around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got, you got <laughs> I the notebook. I walk right? away. Anyway. I go, uh, 
<laughs> so I'm not Carlos. What are you fucking talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. You got you got something like that. My name but is it's Matthew. Not... <laughs> God damn, it, Carlos. Yeah, Matthew Rizigliani. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, hey, Paisano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's my wine. Turn to a wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not for nothing. Bro. You owe me a little, you know. He's like, what are you, fucking wise guy? <laughs> well, that you're wine about pretty good, my, my, uh, my wine is uh, the rating system. Because the fact that the studio didn't want to make this because they're like, oh, rated R movies. And it's true. They don't make as much money. But I just hate PG-13 movies. I, I miss the PG and R rated. Why? Movies. This is where all the thirteen year olds are. <sighs> oh fuck! <laughs> so stupid. Oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, I, it's I got a joke it. that we probably can't. Air. I got it. No, no, it, I'm, we're leaving it. It's just a joke. It's just a fucking joke. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I just hate the idea of a neutered rated R movie. Mm. Right, that the studios are like, hey, there's violence, but there's no blood. What a way to. Right? Like, there's innuendo, but there's it. no fuck or pussy or any, you know, like, there's no, like, language, like, harsh language, right? A neutered rated R movie. Yeah, that's what, what PG 13. describe it. But that's what it is. And that, that's my whine is that studios don't want to make rated R movies because it's like, well, then fucking people can't go to the theater. Like, teenagers yeah. can't go if their parents don't but go But if they're good, them. they're good. The kids will sneak in. They'll buy them when they'll right. buy the movie, rent the movie, whatever fucking later. Like, yeah, but fun. they know they know it's not going to get like Avengers level billion dollars, Star Wars, right. you know, all that shit. Yeah. And, close. And, and look, the fact that this this movie made seven hundred million dollars internationally. Mm. Oh wow! I, I mean, for a rated R movie, holy shit! I thought it was like eight hundred. Yeah, <laughs> seven hundred thirty million. Uh, made hundred and I want to say one hundred thirty million opening weekend. Yeah, which is fucking that's just nuts a, for that's a rated a R movie. So like a good piece of art will do well yeah when you let the p the, the creatives exactly. actually create oh yeah you're right that's exactly right without the studios going oh you can't do that you have to cut this or whatever it's it's just beautiful to see that this movie kind of jumped out and was a huge success to let the studios know come on man we want to see the raw shit well, we you don't want to see water i think that all the prior avengers and other movies Pre, you know, prepared uh, the world for this, mm -hmm. so they can go. They can just okay. We can let loose with Deadpool. Yeah, because you didn't see all the other stuff, and so when you bring Deadpool in, you you get you get one hundred percent of what that guy's character is in yeah. in the comic books. That's who he was. He was a murderous. Uh, yeah, that's just what I do. And then it sets it off with the comedy. Yep. So I think that's what made mm -hmm. it even more of a and big a so box good. office success. Yeah, the comedy's it's so incredible. Man. The violence is like beautiful. I just perfect timing. I think it's a perfect story. But imagine a PG thirteen of dead uh, version of Deadpool. And Ryan Reynolds actually played an April Fool's joke where he said Deadpool's going to be ra rated PG thirteen. It's an April Fool's joke. Everyone's lo losing it. Like what the fuck? Whatever. And it was just a. He was just like, oh no, I was fucking just fucking. Have you seen you. the or not seen? I, like I didn't know about this until I mean maybe ten years ago I bought it at like a bookstore, but the Ultimates version of the Avengers, it's mm. like the guy who wrote Kick Ass. Oh okay, Mark Miller loves Kick Ass. Yeah, me too. Have you seen Kick Ass? Never heard of. It. Oh, oh, you, I would love movie. it. Oh, you would love it. Yeah, Nick right. Cage. Well, they made like a Avengers, but it's like a more realistic Avengers. Like they're, it's like an adult version where Iron hmm. Man's like a he's like an asshole playboy. Like it's like. Very like there's like like real life. There's like in it. It's like dope. It's, oh, so it, <laughs> yeah. so it's kind of yeah, like it's like gnarly. It's like the it's almost like the boys version. <laughs> exactly. <that>. Yeah. <coughs> which which also. <coughs> God damn it, have you, uh, <laughs> Doc. Have you seen yeah. the boys? Have you vaping, Doc. Yeah, not marijuana. You know about the boys, or have you watched that uh, the superhero show on uh on Prime, you like a rated like, R version of uh, no, superheroes. No, you would like it. that. The oh boys. man, yeah, check it out, Doc. It's really, really. It's, I don't know why when you say the boys, I go to the Lost Boys, the, va the Vampire movies. <laughs> right, right. With, with, no, with no, Kiefer no, Sutherland. Movies, I don't know. No, Kiefer Sutherland. Was good. Yeah, that was yeah, good. yeah, that was a good one. Good. No, but the boys is a it's a superhero movie where these these they are actually superheroes in real life. They have um, you know Twitters and Instagrams and 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 brand deals and movies and all that. But they're actually also superheroes, and they're just shitty horrible people like yeah. real life horrible people so it's this kind of real life it's like, like realistic it's like movies and it's very gory and it's very very rated r when is this like a couple years ago it, it did there's a new new so, seasons out now the first three episodes are, you know are, are out um but uh of, of season five i believe but doc 
if you like dead if you this is a similar kind of vein of like deadpool it's funny it's gory yeah. um and it definitely takes the superhero genre into the adult like hardcore like right, right. over the top um cursing and gore and all that give it give it a shot it's okay. really boys. it's really good the boys yeah okay. uh, it's with carl urban but i swear to god if there's some kind of no i promise no not weird i, I promise shit and i see some fucking dudes did, did you see the boy have you seen the new new episodes no there's like I'm a, only on season two yeah there's a there's a really like human centipede kind of scene yes. that's oh. in it that's wait a minute I, that, that's all. I'll, that's all I'll say. Can we do one? That's all I'll say. Not like an elephant walk. Can we do? It's one? insane. It's crazy. An elephant walking scene. You know. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Elephant walk. What's the elephant, elephant walk? walk? Yeah, that's like when a dude is walking in front of you, and then the dude is walking behind you, and he grabs your dick, and then he grabs his <laughs> dick, and you walk like fucking elephant line. You know. Yeah, with the t- the the, the, the yeah, 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 I, I, I've never heard yeah. of that. The snout or whatever. That's an elephant walk. <laughs> is that, wait. Well, I guess I'm the only. What is one. that like a prison thing? Or? I don't know. I what just is, uh, do that out. I've never heard of this. What about no. you people in the back? Somebody support me. There she go. Somebody's working. The- <laughs> hold on, yeah. hold on. Get on, get on the skeleton. Tell us about the. Uh, what What do you know about the uh, the the elephant walk, Gen Z skeleton? What is this? Um, it's like a hazing thing, like a fraternity hazing thing. Um, Move the I've, mouth. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a fraternity hazing thing that happens at some schools, not my school. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where I... Oh, where okay. I'm, thank I'm, you. I'm, okay. That's right. that's fraternity. Right. But how is that hazing? If this you're makes just, me pro school shootings. Well, actually, they do it to the... Like, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, how is that hazing? You're just... That's better than drinking yourself to, d- to yeah. death, I'd say. Yeah, but if you do, if you do, but say if you're not excited by that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it is. Man, another dude holding your cock, and then you yeah. gotta hold another dude's yeah, cock and it, walk together like that. you some kind of fuck. Yeah, yeah. You can't be in a support frat. system. Hey, I, man, you said I know a frat. <laughs> this is what we do. One of their hazing things, like for, that they would do for their freshmen, would be uh, they would put people's dicks in different different things, mm-hmm. like peanut butter or butter or yeah. jelly or whatever, and it would and they'd be blind folded and you'd have to guess what your dick was in oh my god dude for dude they got somebody gotta be arrested <laughs> i mean These, they, they, there's, there's some crazy think, shit going on in the houses bro. people have gotten arrested. and my and my friend has gotta yeah. be i'm man, the shit that i've been hearing i'm like what it's the super fuck illegal is going on yeah like god damn. i mean but that's i mean it's all part of the frat yeah right that's why i never I'm wanted to join out. one just don't kill anybody how about that um so weird. what is your guys favorite scene in uh deadpool I really like his cold open. No, it's not a cold open. It, the fight scene. No, no, no. It, I like the pizza boy scene. Oh, because yeah. It's a good intro to uh, Ryan Reynolds' character and how like distraught he is and like kind of like nihilistic. And I just think it sets it up well. I thought it was like a clever opening. Like, yeah. it's not, he's not there for the guy. He's there for the pizza guy. Like, it's a lot of like um, twists and turns. Like, yeah. He's nice, then he's aggressive, then he's nice. To me, it felt like, um, like I've, like if you read a lot of pilots like the opening couple scenes of a pilot are always like you can tell they've been thinking about it for a long time and you could tell that with deadpool that like this opening scene was like very perfectly constructed to show who he is and i just thought it was like beautifully done like, yeah you got from that point on that that was going to be the basis of every interaction through the movie exactly it was set up that you had you had a being violent but then being like <laughs> funny yeah They're funny nice to someone nice yeah, yeah it yeah. was it was just like what the fuck it's the most mean? simplest it's like the most like 2d version of that fight scene so yeah. i just thought it was really cool and it showed that he had power it showed yeah. that he's witty and he's ordering this pizza and getting pizza like, like good too. he's also calculated too mm-hmm. right but he's also uh, you know deadpool is also a character that fucks up a lot oh i yeah. forgot my ammo bag yeah right so he's human like. on top of that too because like, i feel like i would like if i was like in war or something i would forget stuff all the time mm. I would figure, I'd be like, oh, I left that C4. Like, <laughs> C4, God yeah. damn. Yeah. Well, soldiers They'd carry- be like, God damn. Oh, yeah. I forget Fuck, my bullets. Playboy. Yeah. Yeah, but you definitely, that's why you weren't in the military. You can't be forgetting shit like that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm coming strapped. I got I no military. <laughs> If I was a military dude, they'd be like, "Why the fuck you bringing this tank everywhere?" With <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> that doc yeah. just brings like, his own gun. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> he would provide you with guns. It's like I got I already. Yeah. I got I a gun. Have, like, this one is scratched off cereal. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Both I would color my guns. <laughs> huh? I would color my guns. And make you would color look, yours. I make them look cool. Yeah. And I'd like like write jokes on the side, like like fuck Osama or something. Oh, instead of on the instead of on the helmet, like no, they everywhere. Write, I'd be on all, the gun on the like other. this is this is what my clothes would look like in the army. They just be full of paint, like goofy stuff everywhere. Well, wearing, you know like, what? Fa- that would bring a good ambiance to exactly. Yeah, fucking walk in and I see like gold guns and pink guns and green. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be shit. funny. Just, like, what the fuck wrong with Carlo? There, everybody laughing. Yeah, that'd yeah, it'd be like a cool, good time. laugh after a couple murdering a couple Iraqis. Sorry, oh, no, you know what? I, you know what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, did I, did I say the wrong thing? Did I say? I'm sorry. No, nah, f- yeah. fuck you, Iraq. Easy, Jesus. <laughs> no, no, easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could uh, dip the grenades in paint, uh-huh. and then when we throw the grenades, a little bit of paint goes everywhere. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, and they're enough. like a little bit of blood. Little oh, maybe we yeah. throw a fake grenade at first, and it does something funny, and then they're like, "Oh, ha ha ha!" Yeah. And we throw a real one and kill everyone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I like I like the mix of grenade and paint, so that after it explodes and a rib cage is exposed, right? They're like, "Oh, that's kind of cool," and then yeah. they just die, right? It's like Lisa <laughs> Frank came everywhere. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> 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 okay. um, I like that, uh, Doc. What's your What's your favorite scene in this movie? My favorite scene, what she, I told y'all, when she she accepted him. I, oh, you know, yeah. I was Because, you know, the Renovation, violence, uh, yeah. that's too obvious. Uh, well, you know what? I kind of like, might sound sadistic a little bit, but I kind of like that little oxygen chamber that they had. Oh, it's cool. That scene was yeah. like, and they had them suffering. And I was like, I'm going to tell them, kill that motherfucker. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, and and the villains, I I like the villain in this movie. Um, yeah, what's his uh, name? Ed Ed, Ed Scr- uh, Screen he Screen. Was um, he, was very good. he Francis Francis right in the movie. He uh, he played a really really uh, great part. Especially I really like in that scene where he's like, oh, I don't feel anything. You're like, oh, this guy doesn't have empathy. He's Ryan Reynolds is fucked. Yeah, he's yeah. weight is fucked because this guy has zero though. empathy, and you're like, oh, this guy's not going to feel any sympathy or empathy for what what Wade is going through. Do he's you, done for. You know, I completely forgot that part. He and because I, I was looking, I said, why isn't he squealing or nothing with this sword in him? And I forgot all about it. And then once I, right. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. He don't have no. He don't. Yeah, that's got to be the horrible is because I wonder how he feels when he comes. I don't know uh, anything. It's with a, a little bit like just like with a, a straight guy. face. Yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'm done. Just like fuck. yeah. If I couldn't feel like pleasure, I oh I my god, things. bro. That's probably why he was fucking evil. He yeah. was like, you know what? You're gonna go through this pain. We, yeah. yeah, and he just was this. What he couldn't feel, he was just giving what it to you Ryan. Know what I would do. Fuck. I would stand like on a runway at the airport with like a machine gun, with like a Gatling gun, and just shoot at planes landing. Is that insane? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think so. I, yeah. I, you, might, you might need a little help, bro. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely insane. <laughs> it's just like, no, I'm just yeah. saying like, kind of like, oh, you can do whatever things. I know you're just saying, but yeah, <laughs> it is very insane. We yeah. could throw grenades onto cars on the freeway. Why grenades? Grenades? So that you could try and get them in the windows. Sunroof? You could do like a water balloon or- <laughs> No. Gra- oh, no. You know what I would do? Rocket launcher from a rooftop. That'd rocket be, launcher that'd be sick as fuck dude if you shot rockets at things from a rooftop well yeah that's rooftop okay and water okay I, I, i'm on board story. remember that story we thought <laughs> it was so fucking funny which one they were the comedians some of the comedians they back in the day they went on top of the comedy store and when people would walk by they would bombs away and just hit them all with water balloons and <laughs> See, that's fun I that's like fun the, that's that's you're not gonna kill someone the roof is awesome yeah. Of the comedy store. Yeah, it is. It's very yeah. awesome. We watched the fireworks from there. Yeah, it's so oh, fucking good cool. Times, bro. Yeah. You can see all the fireworks downtown. But y'all who don't know, the comedy store sits perfectly at an angle, like not all the way on the hill, but at an angle where you can see almost, not almost, you can see completely over LA and downtown. So then when the fireworks go off, beautiful. <laughs> That's all I got for you. The sunset, yeah, sunset uh, goes, uh, like, becomes like a, goes onto a hill uh, in West Hollywood. Yeah, so you get a good yes. view of everything. There you go. He yeah. put yeah. it in better It's awesome. Not- uh, my favorite scene is definitely the opening scene uh, the op- uh, uh, where he's fighting all those guys because it just, it's really fun. You know, he's got 12 bullets and he's like, all right, yeah. I gotta, you know, I gotta, I like that mechanism of like, hey, he's, he forgot his ammo bag. 
he's human. He's not a perfect superhero. Um, he's talking to uh, Dopinder, right? Uh, oh, yeah. At the start, too, which is, which is really kid. fun. He's diving into the front seat. Hey, let's, uh, you know, let's yeah. talk. Like, there's I, I that right away, getting the sense of who the character, and you're locked in right away. You're like, I immediately like this person. I immediately like mm-hmm. Deadpool. And you're like, I I'm I'm in for the ride. Uh, this is this is excellent. Yeah. Um, so that that scene with especially with the gun and he's using it. You know he right. kills three people with one bullet, but then he shoots somebody three so times funny. because right. they shot him in the ass. Right. And you know what's funny too is it it, it caps it encapsulate encapsulates the the fact that he's he can he he can self heal. Yep. Right? Yeah. Right. So he's exactly. reckless. He doesn't care. Right. He's cracking jokes. He's like, yeah, shoot yeah. me in the face if you want to. Yeah, he don't give a fuck. It's just like, yeah, so that's what makes him, makes him perfect with the jokes. He's just yeah. like, all of, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful work with yeah. that whole team, what they did with that. And uh, if anybody hasn't seen Deadpool or they've seen it and they need to rewatch, especially you, Carlos, or you rewatch, you're like, whoa, this movie's fucking amazing. And I, I almost, it's been, as is eight years ago, 2016, this movie yeah. came out. Uh, uh, right around Valentine's Day, remember all the promos oh, that's of him right. of oh, him yeah. making like like the heart. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. No, it's a love story. Bring your <laughs> yeah. bring your girlfriend, and, and remember he says that in the in the in the film. It's like, oh, this is a love story, right? right? But then he changes that to, it's oh, this is a, did I say it's a love story? It's a horror story, right? Yeah. Seeing himself in the oxygen tank, so yeah. he's flipping the genres yeah. and having fun with with it. But I like the marketing of like, oh, this is just a nice little love story, but it's gruesome. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's all you know what I mean. Like, like I thought fast. when he had the guy, you know, with the knives, right? It's like, you know, oh, you, you, I, right now you yeah. probably think like, I thought there was a love story. Why this guy's a fucking kebab right now. Like, <laughs> right. So he's playing with it and he's taught the fourth wall breaking all that. He's talking to the audience. Yeah, It's yeah. just, it's so much fun. And if you forget, you know what I mean? About, about all that rewatch. And I'm sure a lot of people have rewatched this. Um, but if you haven't seen it in a while, it's, Surprisingly good. Now. We're hearing us talk about it. You definitely gonna rewatch it. It's, yeah, it's, it's great. Oh man! I and Deadpool it. and Wolverine uh, comes out in a month. In a month. Uh, you guys gonna go see it in the theater? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to. The, I'm going or to the Chinese theater. Yep. I've yeah. seen all Wolverine. I've seen Logan. So even though I like I said I don't feel he, I still go watch it because yep. I'm, I'm a Wolverine fan. Probably because he's five three in the comics. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. that one thumb out. I'm on thumb, I'm kick ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little dudes can kick ass. Yeah, yeah but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I really, really want to see it because I can only imagine. Because you see how dry Logan is. Yeah, and then yeah. with Deadpool, this is like, oh man, I gotta hot. go watch this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, with a grumpy uh, uh, Logan, right? Yeah, compared to like a he gonna silly. Be pissing. He just gonna be pissing. Yeah. Him. It's he, gonna be great. Then Deadpool don't give a fuck because Logan can't kill him. Yeah, <laughs> right. And they both have self healing powers. This movie, go, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah I I really hope so because I'm I'm gonna go see it too. I mean, hopefully I can step away. Yeah, uh, get a get a babysitter. But um, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thank y'all. Thank y'all. See you next week. Thank you.